Uh, Jake Paul, Anderson Silva's this weekend, Friday, no, Saturday night. I think Hilo River or just somewhere in Arizona. That, I thought I saw a desert. Yeah, so I don't desert know. Something somewhere in Arizona. Arizona. Still debating on whether I'm going to go or not. Dude, last time I went, Showtime had zero. They just fucking sucked. Like, as far as. I mean, I don't know. Is it their job to take care of a celebrity? Or is it my job to. I mean, like, they give me shit tickets. Like, I couldn't even go to my seat. People were just fucking running up to me. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go or not. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Jake Paul Anderson. I don't know, dude. Anderson's 50. But he looks good. 50 years old. Are you sure? Yeah. That old? But he looks good. It's just crazy to think he's 50. He looks... Yeah, he looks good. He looks a little bit slower than he... Oh, he's 47. Okay. 40. I mean, well, come I mean, on. still, yeah, you're... Not 50. There's not much of a difference between... So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious how that fight's going to play out. I could I could definitely see Jake landing a bomb. It's hard not to say that when he has landed so many so far. Um, or I could see Anderson. Like, experience is a real thing. Exper- I mean, Jake went the went that later, the whole full fight with Tyron Woodley, and he learned a lot, and he probably grew a lot from that fight. But Anderson Silva, I mean... Experience is going to be a real thing. I think I'm curious if anything, cardio could play an issue into the later rounds. Unless Jake cracks him and changes the whole fight. I'm super curious how that fight plays out. I think, I think Jake's going to crack him. I hate saying that, but he just, I, like I think Jake. he's, why do you hate saying well, that? Well, I don't, I don't want to see Anderson. It is, go it, down. it would be hard. I mean, be really a, hard, yeah. but I think Jake's just going to be a little quicker, a little bit more powerful. I mean, he's got 20 years on him. Yeah. I think Jake's going to crack him and then, God, I don't know. Get him out of there. I do. I think he should. I mean, I know Anderson. Did so you watch the All Access? That's I haven't. Yeah. You should throw it on. It's pretty good. Thirty minutes. And I don't know, man. I think Jake's been working his ass off, and I think similar to you, people look at him and they doubt him, and they. Oh yeah, for they sure. They they don't really know that he's been going through and he's been dedicating his life to it. So I think uh, I think Jake's gonna surprise people. And then I think he's going to, if he does finish him, I think he's going to get the same shit. Well, it was Anderson Silva. He was 47 years old. But yeah. I'm, st- I, I'm excited for the fight. I hope Anderson Silva does good and doesn't look bad in there. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be uh, well, it's it, exciting. Uriah Hall's fighting Le'Veon Bell on that, which yeah. is super weird. That was like, I wonder if that's like co-main or what. No, I think it was a uh, opening up the main card or like the second fight on the main card. There's <laughs> some other fights I didn't really know. Sam Alvey said they are garbage. Sam Al- Alvey claims he, he scared off Jake Paul after sparring his brother. Smiling Sam Alvey will be remembered by MMA fan, blah, blah, blah. Alvey discussed the potential of boxing either Jake Paul or Logan Paul. Those characters aren't totally un- unfamiliar to Alvey. Logan seemed like a nice guy. Jake Paul didn't want to spar with me after he saw me with Logan. I was being so nice to him. I mean, I was the experienced guy. He was the YouTube guy. I wonder how long ago this was. Yeah, I was going to ask. I did this. Alves, but so. They didn't get tired, at least while we were training. They were throwing with a lot of oomph and all. But there was no footwork. There was no real strategy behind it. That was a long time ago. This was like five or six years ago. Oh, oh God. But yeah, that's when Jake was like. Did you see the video Jake posted like him like three years ago hitting mitts? Uh-uh. Was it ugly? Yeah, it was bad. It was funny. He, I mean, he knew it, it was bad. Jeez, three years ago. Yeah, I don't even remember hearing about him when it comes to boxing three years yeah. ago. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I wonder if Connor, what, what the fuck is up with Connor, dude? Dana said he hasn't been in the pool, so he's not. He's out for at least another six months. Are you serious? Dana White come here and he's do complete six months of USADA yeah. testing. He said that after the press conference because someone Damn. asked about him. Ah, I, I don't know, man. I. What about John Jones? Dude? Oh, they said he's returning. I've been Soon, hearing though. that, though. I think at the end of this uh, year. But why hasn't he? Is it Usada shit that we just haven't heard about? Because why hasn't he fought? Well, I know they were looking for Stipe, and Stipe was coming off an injury, of, a knee injury of some sort, I think. So I think that, I mean, you just never know. There's so much speculation. I don't know why he hasn't fought. Maybe he's st- still wanting to put on some weight to where he really feels comfortable at heavyweight. That motherfucker looks big, bro. His legs look skinny, <laughs> but his upper body looks huge. I mean, he's been out of the fight game for a while. Maybe he just wants to make sure he's... Yeah, confident because those one when you get up to heavyweight, that one punch power, he maybe wants to make sure he can. Yeah, that's. I uh, see him. What about come shot versus Colby, dude? I can't believe they're making that. I think it's hopefully. Like, well, it sounds like Colby agreed to it. 
It sounds like Hamsat wants it because the winner of it gets a title shot. Damn, that's crazy. It would be crazy. It'd be sweet to see Colby beat him in a five round fight. Like, oh, break him. so sweet. I wonder. Is Hamsat gonna make weight? That's the, that's a huge what if. I bet. I wonder if there's something in the contract that Colby's like. Oh, I bet Colby's not gonna fight, and there's not gonna do a catch weight or anything. I don't imagine. No, I mean Colby's on a big one seventy or do he walked around probably. Did you see he bet for me to beat Peter? He did. Millimeter Colby. Peter. <laughs> Millimeter Peter. Said size matters. Millimeter Peter ain't getting it done. So it was actually pretty funny. But yeah, I think Colby. Oh, I'd be sweet to watch him. Watch him be the judge. I like Hamzat too, though, and it's fun to watching him rise. But I still think it'd be sweet to watch Colby win. Colby will definitely be able to put him through a war if it happens, which would be sweet. Either way, it's <sighs> yeah. gonna be a sweet fight. I can imagine Ham- Hamzat's big, bro. But I don't, if he does make 170, he's not going to be as big as he usually is because he's never really actually made it. I'm pretty sure he last two he's gotten away with fucking around. Yeah. I'd be, yeah, I'd be curious. I, God, if he doesn't make it the third time, they're going to have to Half tell him to move up. It's crazy. 70 to 85 is 15 pounds. So it's like, fuck. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. It's a big, yeah, it's a big gap. And he's a big dude. You 